Good afternoon, good morning. This is Harold Johnson, a public history student at St. Mary's University. Uh, and Juneteenth, also known as the Day of Jubilee or Emancipation Day, commemorates June 19th, 1865, when Union General Gordon Granger read General Order Number no. 3 in Galveston, Texas, proclaiming that previously enslaved African Americans were now free. Even though the Emancipation Proclamation was effective, as of January 1st, 1863, news was slow to get to Texas. Um, social media didn't exist and there weren't too many Union soldiers in the area to spread the news. Not to mention planters were in no hurry to get rid of their free labor. Um, upon hearing the news, many of the newly liberated blacks ran off the plantation as soon as they could uh, with no idea where they would go next. Um, so Juneteenth is especially important in Texas as the ancestors of many of the black people who live here were among those liberated that day. And Juneteenth reminds us how far we've come and we celebrate the accomplishments and contributions that African Americans have made to society. It marks the end of slavery. And I read somewhere that it's a great day to educate, celebrate, and agitate. So with that in mind, Many of the Juneteenth celebrations include lectures on black history and what we can do as a nation to continue to move forward.